Now, rumors buzzing in Nigeria's uh, financial sector. We've heard that European banks are cutting credit lines to Nigerian banks, and as a result, they're exp experiencing pressure because of this. Now, with me in the studio to give me more insight on this topic, Akin Daudo from co the country treasurer of, of, from Citibank. Welcome. Well, now, you, let's Richard. get right down to the point. Um, European banks are reducing the credit lines. How true is this? And are Nigerian banks under pressure as a result of this? Well, European lines might be reducing their credit lines on the aggregate basis, but uh, the sense um, I get from the local market is that this is not uh, true in the case of most Nigerian banks, and it is not uh, particularly impactful mm. uh, for the Nigerian banking sector as a whole. The sense uh, my personal experience from talking to people is that there hasn't been any meaningful cutting back on lines done by European banks vis-a-vis -vis their Nigerian bank lines yet. It's not entirely impossible that there have been one or two isolated cases. But generally speaking, the lines remain intact and um, the banks still have access to mm. avail on those lines. So I don't think there's been a huge impact, no. Mm. Now, a few of the bankers who I talked to actually said that uh, the tables are kind of turning this time. Nigerian banks are actually trying to take risk measures against uh, the blowback from the Eurozone crisis. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on this? Well, that makes sense. It's only good risk management. Essentially, if you see that there's a problem in the region, as there is in the Eurozone with the peripheral countries and their sovereign debt difficulties, Greece and all, um, it makes sense as a bank to perhaps draw less from counterparties in that region and use your lines with other uh, banks from other regions uh, uh, more. And so that in the event that there is a cutting of lines from European banks, you are not affected so much. Uh, so yes, I, from, in my experience and uh, from talking to people, one gets the sense that quite a few Nigerian banks are doing that mm -hmm. and are protecting themselves against any possible reduction in the lines from Europe. Mm. How much are Nigerian banks really exposed to the Eurozone crisis? And in fact, why do Nigerian banks need to deal with European banks at all? Well, fundamentally, the historic connections between not just Nigerian banks, African institutions and Europe, colonialism and whatnot. Um, essentially, geographically, Europe is much closer. Time zone-wise, it's the same. So the, many Nigerian banks have the majority of their foreign bank lines uh, availed to them by European banks. So it's a long-standing relationship. I think it'll continue to be so. Um, it makes sense. I mean, uh, simple reason, Nigeria is, Europe is pretty much same time one hour behind Nigeria. Uh, Asia is well ahead, America is far behind. So if for that reason alone there have been historic ties and there will continue to be ties, this crisis or no. Even Nigeria, most of its trade is done, a lot of Nigeria's trade is done with the Eurozone. Mm -hmm. um, after the US, I think a lot of Nigeria's oil goes to Eurozone countries. So it makes sense that there's a lot of trade between the two uh, regions economically, and that's why Nigerian banks are so active in terms of their dealings with European banks. Mm.